Hi, I'm going to turn Joe into a zombie today using some basic makeup. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of the latex onto the sponge and then put that onto Joe's skin. And you're just going to do this in a couple of really random places. Like I'm going to do the forehead and a cheek and then a, probably a chin as well. Next thing we're going to do is take that tissue and we're going to just apply that right on top of that latex so it sticks. So now we're going to take some of that tissue and we're going to rip it open so it kind of looks like he's got a big old gash in his forehead. Alright, so now using some of our cream colors, we're going to start painting um, his sores. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that right in the middle is the deepest area. So that's where you're going to use the darkest color. So you can use a little bit of black, like red on the inside. And then as you move out, you want to use the maroon color. And then you want to use a little bit of the red right along the edge. So it just looks like a little bit of pink and a little sore. For the next part, we're going to use some of the white cream and we're just going to put that all over his skin to just kind of make him look like he's dead. And that can blend into some of that redness too. Now we're going to use some of that gray. The next part is the bloody part and this is where the zombie makeup actually like comes to life. So my trick is to take a little bit of blood and put it into a cup. And then we're going to take a little bit of the ground coffee and we're just going to mix that in with the blood. And this is going to give it a little bit of texture. And then put that all over the wounds. You kind of want to do it up into the, into the hair. It can be runny if you want to. Kind of just have fun with it. from alive to dead in just a few minutes. For your Halloween needs, visit a Goodwill near you.